I like a Venn, di Venn diagram, Venn diagram, where you have your, uh, maybe your basics, your kata, pine of work, whatever, yeah, and you try and get the mixture between the two, and then find the, the part that's in the middle. The thing that people struggle with, and they don't realise it, some people are natural with it, other people really struggle with it, but they don't realise it. It's called timing. So that's the subject we're going to call or be looking at, timing or time. Okay, so what is time? Time to me is you have a journey to make and you have to have a, do a task within that, whether you're coming down from Evesham or up north or... Evesham, where, wherever, yeah? And during that time scale, you need to do something. So you have a start and a finish. Yeah, and this is where people don't realise a real subject, which is timing. And I don't mean the timing to be here. That's not timing, just for one subject. Timing to me has to be included in everything. So today we're going to look at how we realise it. How do we realise realise time? Okay, the, the Earth, right? We call that the Earth. The Earth has uh, longitudinals, don't they? How many degrees is one longitudinal? It's about 15 degrees, isn't it, for every longitudinal, and that equates to an hour? Yeah? yeah? Right, so even, we can't stop time. Unfortunately, I wish I could. Yeah? I don't know what age I'd want to be. Maybe about 30, 35. Yeah, that was, who's 30, 35 here today? Brilliant, okay? Goes downhill from there. <laughs> yeah, so we can't do anything about stopping time. But we have to realise it, and in our, we, we, we started this discussion down on the winter course, didn't we, Rob? And the guys, yeah, Colleen and Gary. Uh, how, many, how long did we talk about it? Three, four hours? Yeah, they equate it to a lot of beer. <laughs> All right? So there's, the first thing you have to do is we're going to define it, time, within the martial arts. Every martial art, art needs time or timing. There's even a martial art that actually controls, is controlled by time, which is Ioido. Yeah? Their kata is done on seconds, split seconds. And if you're taking a dangrade in, the cut, the draw, the cut, the put back has to be precisely that time. So that's gone to the other extreme. Yeah? So how are we going to realise that? So for some of you, If you already know about timing, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but there's a lot of us at high grades as well that don't realise that we've got reasonable timing. That's come through lots and lots of years of training. But if we can realise it and explain it, hopefully the younger guys and girls at a lower grade, hopefully you'll, you'll progress a little bit quicker, realising what you're trying to do. Yeah, it's not how fast you go. It's the time that you give a technique to finish it off. And that will depend on how skillful you are and what your muscle memory is like and what your memory is like, because mine's failing sometimes these days. Okay, so we're going to use three part, bits of partner work to try and demonstrate little bits and pieces of it. So the first part is a realisation. Yeah, can anybody uh, remember their... Sorry for, the, for this, but we're going to go through it anyway. There are oil committees, which aren't really part of the Wado Academy. Some of you from UKKW and the older schools, they do it because Sensei Suzuki did, did them. And we're going to use one, so we'll use uh, oil committee number four, just to show you what it looks like. So it will start off very basic and then we'll put little bits of attributes in there to try and get your timing to progress or, or distance 
and timing. Yeah? So if you remember, we'll be doing it down the hall to get used to the movement. So the guys that don't know the oil committees, then you'll understand the move. Yeah, so it's basically just cover. Yeah, you come in, you rack him, punch, he's a gary, and drop MP and out. Okay, we're going to take a very simple oil committee and we'll introduce a few bits and pieces at a time. And hopefully, by doing this, you'll see the evolution from going on oil committee or Nippon to a Kion committee and then it'll, it'll carry on to do a gumitigata. Yeah, they get more and more complex, but this is a straightforward one. So once more, yeah, it's forward, Urakun, punch, Hizigeri, and MP. Okay, so do you remember that? We're going to go up and down the room just so as everybody understands what they're doing. Yeah, and then we'll partner off. And if you can today, try and train with various people. See, so many people just covering this way. It means you're going to get hit around the back of the neck. Yeah? So make sure you're really covering. And then pull down. When you do the hizigeri, try not just to go into Junzuki. Because this leg could pop out and take yours. Yeah? When you've done the hizigeri, go inside. That feels a bit more awkward, doesn't it, yeah, for you? Yeah, much more awkward. Yeah. Can you see him moving? So instead of here and through, here and down. You can see him stumbling. And out. Okay, so make sure you're covering and make sure you are trying to do a different leg foot position. Last couple, carry on, because we want to move on. We're talking about distance. And what we want to do is try and cut down the distance or cut down the time or the, how can I put it, the time that the opponent actually sees you moving. You've got a certain amount of time. He starts the attack. It's going to take some time before you actually see that attack coming. Yeah? Depends what it is, but we know that we've got a controlled one where we're doing this oil committee. So it's, it's that time when you pick up that movement. Yeah, so we're going to try and cut down that movement. I think I've talked about it before. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to do a kuriashi. Or kuriashi. Or kuriashi. So usually you see my head or so this. Or kuriashi. Then I am closer to Sensei Graham. Yeah? So, okuriashi is one. And if you can disguise it without actually moving your head, then you've reduced that time that he sees you move. Yeah, so... Uh, distance. Okuriashi. Whoops. Okay, some of you in the Wado Academy already know about Okuriashi, yeah? So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little bit of Okuriashi, then we'll go back to your oil committee and try and put that into it. Ready? Hey! Hey! Emuata! Hey! Hey, yeah, man. Yes, mate. Just relax. So a couple of things. Some of you are getting your elbow to go first. Right, make sure it's your fist because you want to be looking as though you're actually going to punch them in the face. Then you change direction to do the Yurakun. 
Okay, so make sure your fist is going first and try and relax as much as you can. Yeah, Umodoryu, as you know, this Yurakin is for cutting. It's not for a heavy smash. This is for cutting the skin. So try and be as flexible as you can with your wrists. Yeah? And let it cut. So a couple of times down, once down and once up, and then we'll crack on. So you're going to partner off again. Okay, don't forget the defender, just uh, make sure you cover. Look, the other one, Okuriyashi. Okuriyashi and Ayumiyashi. Okuriyashi push. And Ayumiyashi step. Yeah? yeah? I think it was Sensei Arthur the other week. He was saying that Okuriyashi and then Ayumiyashi is safer than just a yumiyashi. This is far safer than actually stepping because you're putting your body into a prone position straight away. So I make sure you push and relax, make sure you're stepping through afterwards. Yeah? So turn your body in and rotate. So, hey, okay, partner off, carry on. So we're not only talking about timing for the attacker, it's also talking about the timing for the defender as well. Because uh, defender is actually watching you come forward. You're trying to disguise so much of that movement forward, and then you're attacking. But he's still seeing you, so therefore they can actually do an evasion as well. It's not just stopping there and covering and hoping for, you know, he's not going to hit me. So they can do uchi kuriyashi. Uh, sorry, ushiro. Sorry, ushiro backwards <laughs> or kuriyashi. In fact, uh, our sensei and Lendi's sensei, uh, sensei Takamazawa, and anybody else who had the the, uh, the luck to have trained with him for a long time, he actually put some numbers to these, didn't he? It's called TN. Tomokomazuki Nagashizuki. One and two, three. So you know. Well, it's, it's a big importance about this pushing forward and pushing back. And when you come to do your sparring, Sensei Jim, when you're doing your sparring, there's a lot of this okuriyashi forward and back to, to, to get this distance and then to go for it, not just, not just not do anything. So this time, the, so if Sensei Graham attacks me, I am going to push back. I see him and I come back. I don't want to see this stuff. Push. You've gone back, you, you know, if, if I had a crystal ball like that, I'd be world champion. <laughs> yeah? So, look, see the attack, then cover by going backwards, a kuriyashi backwards. Then Sensei carries on and does the technique. Oh, yeah, go. Oh, but not that odd. No, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, <laughs> that's fine, no, that's good. Just, uh, we need to train, but we need to enjoy the training. So I just said that, just as a, but that was good. So, Okuriyashi and Ushiro. Okuriyashi. So we're going to practice a little bit of Ushiro Okuriyashi, backwards. Okay? Oish. So, uh, start off with left leg. So, without any arms yet, I just want you, that's why it's important to have your knees bent and soft. So, as you can feel your body push back. Reuse me. And push. Push. Yeah, feel this flowy movement. And when you push in, release and push back. Good. And again, push. Ready? Wish. Aye. Yeah. Push. Pull. Make sure you're pulling, not drag. TN2D. Wasn't it, Graham? Yeah. Dragging. But make sure you're pulling the foot. Ready? Wish. Body. Push. Wish. Oi! Emo atai. Oish. 
Now the other one. Ready? Get your knees soft. Soft knees. Not stiff. How many of you have had your instructor say, relax? Put your hands up if you had that. <laughs> relax! I am! <laughs> Okay, if you, if you relax your neck, relax your shoulders, relax your body, relax your hip. It doesn't have the same effect as forget your arms, forget your heads, just relax your knees. Can you see how that automatically relaxes everything else? So if, if somebody says relax to you, don't worry about this, just literally drop the knees. Yeah, so we're going backwards again, so keep soft. Get this flow again, and then when you're on the back, push. Ready? Oish. Back to your eye committee, and you need to do your okuriyashi. Yeah, as much as you can without moving this. When the uki sees it, then make sure you do ushiro. Or kuriyashi. Not before, when you see the technique. Yeah? This is your start of sen no sen. When you see them moving and you react to it. Yeah? So you're using this as an exercise for distances and highlighting your sen no sen. Yep. Wish. Pardon off. Carry on. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Here. <clears throat> the other thing that you need is your uh, kazushi, which is to take their place in the world, to take their balance. So once you, when you've done, oh, it's okay. Once you stop, I'll do it without my hands, okay? Here's a Gary. If you go, just drop down and turn, nothing really happens to sensor here. So, once you've done your hizigeri, go in and turn. If you don't go in, you're not going to do kazushi. You're not going to take their place. Yeah? But just for a couple, because we need to move on. Once you've done your, your pulling, your hizigeri, yeah? Close. Then turn. So you should be able to without your arms. So I'll just try a few and then we'll come back together because I want to crack on. Oish, thank you. We've um, gained time to gain distance by doing the kuriyashi. But they've seen it, so they're doing... What was the word again, Simon? Kotai. Sorry, just ageism, it's gone. So, backwards, going backwards. The reason why I picked this particular technique is because it's very linear. It's very straight. Yeah, watch. So, yeah, one, two. Can you see how straight it is? So, the Uchi can absolutely, this is the next step, can actually just completely destroy my technique by going sideways. So if Sensei does, it's, can you see what happens? Oish, thank you. Okay, thank you. So this is an extra. to manage time. By sensing moving to the side, he's destroyed my technique. So can you see how it's, I've tried, he's actually seen it, he's moved back, and he can also move to the side. By moving to the side, I've got no technique left because my mind is going linear. By going to the side, he's done his toisaboki his body movement. So that leads into 
The next group of partner work that we do in Modorio, and again, apologies, but we will go through it. Yeah, what are those? Kions. So if you move to the side, you start generating a different group of defenses and attacks. Yeah? And also, so, gosh. If we do key on number one, yeah, I move to the side. So then, Sensi Graham, no, can Sorry. you, no, that's fine, that's good, that's good. Sensi Graham has to change direction because I've moved to the side. And we'll find that he has to bring his foot round as well because I'm going to manage it as a, as a defender. So this is the, the total product, yeah? and then we'll go away and sort of build it up. So we've gone from, just going backwards, moving to the side, managing it. So I'm going to move to the side, and then sense he's got to change direction and come in. So I know I've covered Joe Dan, so I know the next one is Chu Dan. You drop him with your, your weight and punch him. Therefore, for him to actually get into my body, he has to do nagash, back foot comes round slightly, to come into me. So can you, push? can you see how I've tried to make him work harder? It's not just one, two, but he's got to come, change direction, and move round to try and hit my body. And out. So we move into the side. That's what we're going to practice, and we're just going to practice dropping. Dropping and punching. Yeah, but we don't practice like that. When we do keons, we do this. Yeah? There's different stages of learning. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's more difficult. And you're adding more moves in. So basically, just moving to the side and dropping. Yeah, you just get exactly the same, but you've cut out a lot of moves. Yeah? Mudana. Anybody? Mudana. Wasted moves. So we're going to go away and we're going to practice moving to the side and dropping. Yeah? We're having to manage the attacks. We're having to be a bit more intricate with the attack and the defence. It's not, it's not just a linear movement. You have to change direction. You have to change where you're going to punch. You have to reduce the amount of areas that he's going to attack. I've already covered this one. So, pound to a penny is going to come down here. Yeah? Dropping and punching. Okay? So, let's break it down. Let's build it up. So, we're just going to look at the defence to start off with. Really, there's no defence, there's no attacker. All right, but to make it easier in English, or West Bromwich is. <laughs> yeah? So from there, fighting stance. Oish. So it's coming up to cover your head, and you're going to move your body to the side. Oish. Now, soft knees, you're going to drop this arm. Drop this arm. Oish. And punch. Back again. So, move to the side. Knees drop and punch. Just relax that one down. It's not, it's not blocking or anything. It's just literally dropping. So there, again. Cover. Drop. Back straight. And out. Again. And there. To the side. Drop. 
Yeah? So, we're going away, going to go away, we're going to practice that. But I don't want the uki yet, the, sorry, the atemi, to whine and go for a gakuzuki no tsukami type of stance, a wide stance coming around to the side. Just go one, two. Yeah? Yes? Hi? Oish. Carry on. That means you're taking your weight away from them. Sensei? Oh, go on. Hello, Jim. Go on, Jim. Yeah? Okay, oish. So one. If I drop and take my back leg, oish, attack. If I take my back leg, can you see I'm taking my weight away from them? Stop there, that's fine. So, those of you who do wado, you do a thing called uh, Junzuki Sonobade. Yeah, which leg did you move? Front one. So, if I want to take my weight forward, wish. Okay. I'm taking this leg. So, do Sonobade. Take your front leg. Then you're taking your weight. <laughs> I won't hit you. <laughs> you're taking your weight in rather than back. Small but significant. Yeah? So can you make sure that you're doing that? Yeah? Because we need to add some other things in. We're not just stopping there. Okay, watch that. Uh, focusing on the first position that that person was at. So you're going one, two. It, you, you're not actually getting your distance, your time. So you have to, Sensei, that's, sorry, I'm giving you a break. Get the ground here. So stop where you are. So, you make sure that you, your first punch is through. They move to the side. Now, if I just punch it, stop, stop where you are, I'm not gonna. If I move, no matter, it looks good, but it's actually done nothing. I won't punch, stop where you are. I've got to. I've got to be here to punch. So it's important that you get your distance correct. If you don't get your correct distance for the attack, how can this person defend correctly? So what I want you to do, wish, they'll be punching here, I want you to just move to the side. Then when they come in to punch, move your body out the way. So A, you can check your distance for them and for me and then I can make sure that I'm actually turning my body some Tyson Bucky make sure they're punching here not over there not over there but punching here so move then here turn make sure you turn and get your body out of the way can you try that a couple of times first right, carry on So we know the principles, why we've gone to the side, but now you want that little bit extra. Oh, just thanks. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. You want to cheat distance. Did anybody spot what I was doing? Watch. I'm trying to leave my body where it is, but I'm trying to bend my knee and get my body to go forward. 
So I've already gained a couple of inches, a foot maybe, before I actually do the attack. So hopefully you won't see too much of what's happening sort of down here. But can you see it just gives you that little bit of an edge to do your attack. So the attacker, you need to try and get as much, much distance out of it, but without telling him, without showing him. And then let it go. It's not going to work if you're doing this. <laughs> so don't get coming back to me and say, Roger said, <laughs> and you'll notice he's across here. All right? Don't get doing this. <laughs> Unless it's uh, number four. <laughs> yeah? But try and get this Zanshin awareness, get this. Get this attack going. Mean it. Get some distance out of it without letting him know. Reduce your timing. Gives him less time to try and react. Start the technique, he sees it, he reacts. Start the technique, it's happening down here. A sub layer of timing. Then you can go. Can you try that? Make sure you get out of the way. Even if you don't see it coming and you feel that move, move out of the way. Or get, make sure you stick a hand up somewhere. Yeah? Okay, but try to cheat. Push. Try to cheat time. Push. Carry on. Okay, so we're going to go back to what's called Kihon Committee number one, which is the one he's just done. But I want you to think about the attack, about trying to cheat some distance out of it before you let it go. Yeah, the defender, make sure you are trying to see what's happening at the earliest point, not be lax in the brain. Be alert, zanshin, awareness, you've all learned of the word. See it, and it's part of your sen no sen. Seeing the attack, doing it. So I'll make sure you to the side and dropping, dropping the weight and punching. Then I wanna make sure the attacker, you are making sure that you, you've cheated the distance you've gone through. You've got to change direction. And to squeeze the last little bit of direction out of it, this won't happen. You need to use your front leg and your, your back leg. So it's almost like a Gakuzuki Natsukami stance, almost, but yeah, don't have to strictly get to Gakuzuki Natsukami stance. Just as long as you're re releasing this hip to come round and to try to get into the midsection. So cheat the distance through. And the same here. Yeah, try and use your hip as well to get some distance out of it. Cover, drop, just relaxed, normal. Natural. And then out. So can you do the complete package? But try and use the attributes that you've just used. Cheating, moving, making sure you're getting the correct distance on the attack. Yeah? Else it's not going to be good for the one that's doing the actual kill. So, some of you went to the winter course, didn't you? With uh, Otsuka the third, yeah? And he had some of the people up doing 
a couple of the was it Kions or I can't remember. Yeah. But the ones that he thought were good, they're all good, don't get me wrong, but the ones that he thought, yeah, was that little bit of Zantium, this tachii, this togetherness, getting this atmosphere before they attacked and then afterwards. Okay? The, the, the attack and the defence is not just some moves. It's what's happening up here as well but not showing it here. Not showing it here. Yeah? Anybody start sparring with me and they go like this? Oh, great. Fantastic. He's tensed. Yeah? Happy days. Those that you can't read are difficult. So I try and be that person that can't read. Yeah? So I try and put everything together. Ready? Wash. Carry on. I've seen a lot of people do this on the attack. So whatever you've created, you've just destroyed. Watch. What did I do? I pulled my fist back, Gary. Okay. <laughs> so make sure this fist does not come back. Whatever you've gained, make sure it goes forward, not back. Else you've destroyed, you've wasted everything that you've created. Yeah, and what's facing him? Fist. As soon as you do this or do that, yeah, then uh, I don't expect you to get, this, get these ideas perfect or remember them all today. It is just setting the seed in your mind that there's something else out there that's not tangible. It's more than just a punch. It's more than just a kick. It's more than doing a block. Yeah, it's putting all those together with your brain power and trying to squeeze the last little bit of martial art out of it. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next subject. Okay? Create. How can I create time? I'll show you at the end. <laughs> but we need to do a, thing, uh, uh, a series of, well, one, we'll pick one out of here. A uh, uh, gummy tagata. Can I borrow your crown, please? Sensei, thank you. So we're going to do a gummy tagata number one. And gummy tagata is about uh, Irimi moving in and Kazushi. But there's something else in there. Because if you only do Irimi and Kazushi and something else is missing, then you're not creating time. Uh, I'll try and explain that when we go through. So, question number one. Once more. So we're going to put the attributes that we've learned before into this. So, so I'm going to move to the side. Okay. And then I need to turn. Then I'm going to move in. And move in again. And out. But that hasn't really created any time. We'll go back and do it again, but we'll get this move first. So you've got the tool, and then we can create something with that tool. Yeah. So line up again. Yeah. Kumiti Gat is a whole bundle of finesse. It's not easy to do. Let's have a go. Okay, so fighting stance. Right. So move to this side and turn. Now come in and turn. Move in again, MP. And bend your knees. And Nanamizuki. And out. 
and back up. And again. So we're moving out the way and we're turning. Oish. Locks and symbols. And we're going from the outside to the inside. Oish. So that their leg can't kick me in the groin. And I'm going to move in again. MP. And Nanamizuki. And out again. Three sides. One. Two. Three. So it's one, two, three. Back again. Ready? One, two, three, four. And out. Again. Ready? One, two, Three, four. Eight. You got that? I'll be coming around and having a look, but do you want to do it once more? Or are you okay? Once more. That's fine. So, one, two, three, four. And out. The attack is just right leg forward and they lunge jaw down. Push. Okay? Thank you. Uh, just a point of you, you, especially us gentlemen. Okay. Sure, it's not nice for you ladies as well. But you need to make sure that you, when the attack comes in, you make sure you try and pull your leg back slightly. Not, not open because you're going to get kicked in the groin. Yeah, and then this gives you the direction. And again, don't leave this foot here, groin. Make sure it's nagash, out the way, sword. Yeah, then that gives you a nice angle to attack. So, one, two, three. Do your nagashizukis move in? Make sure your legs are working. Distances, direction. Yeah, everybody sees these happening. They don't see this working from here. You need to have the full package before we carry on. So, pull, turn, in, drop more. Make sure that's working for you. Watch you don't kick in the groin. Yeah, that's the common thing that I'm seeing around here. If I see lots of it happening, then I'll pull you back here and mention it. Okay, well, sh carry on, just check that out. So, one, I've got this hand in contact. What people are doing is, um, uh, sorry, it's a habit now to get one hand in. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Thursday night. <laughs> Good. But that's exactly what's going to happen. Yeah? So you need to make sure that you have one hand in contact, the other hand in contact, and then the other one. Don't let one hand... Don't let it be free. I mentioned it to a couple of people, but this... Um, oh, Some of you go way too much into a shikidachi or kibidachi, and when you bend your knees, they go out. Try and use your tatai seishan, and then when you bend your knees, your knees should come in. So try and point your knees in. 
when you're doing the, 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 uh, the leg movement, the kazushi part of the lower, lower body. Yeah, not here. Here. And those of you who do wado, then this is your uh, naihanch. Yeah, or your seishan. Kata. Okay, so, there's only one thing that, this is getting back, in on, back onto the create. Oish. Sensei Kerry's technique is finished. I'm carrying on. Relax. Does that, does that feel right to you? I'll see it's... <whistles> finished yet? Okay. Does, does not feel, does not feel right. So what I need to do is I need to create, I need to make time. So the only way I can make time is, is making the attack longer. He hasn't finished. He's got to regain his balance. While he's regaining his balance, that's the time when I go in and do my attack. So this is obviously, uh, if you don't know, we've done it before, Inasu, redirect. With the sword, it would be... <laughs> redirecting his punch, redirecting his attack. So that should then give me time to do it. When you're going through Nasu, I think we tried it before on one, on one course. Okay. If you do it with the hand, it doesn't have so much of an effect. Right? If you try and cut, make contact with around the elbow, not a problem. If you do it here, then this can bend. So I want to be catching, I want to be catching that elbow to redirect him. So I'm creating time, I'm stretching out his technique so that I can get in there and do, finish off my, my irimi, moving in, and my kazushi. So I want you to practice this. It's not block, push. It's making, contact and turning my body <laughs> don't want you to do the rest of the kumiti gata yet but try and use inasu to redirect it so some of us lucky people, we're off to Bulgaria, aren't we? So I'm hoping when the plane lands, it doesn't do this, right? It will do this, okay? Because there'll be a lot of 20 pence, 50 pence is going around. So try and glide, glide, touch, and redirect them. Don't do the rest of the technique yet concentrate on that. Try not to have a heavy landing in an aeroplane, just have a touch and get your body to do the turn, not your arm. Yep. Okay, have a plate. Wish. Yeah, man. Stop, stop where you are. So, if you want, so, Try and go the whole way through, but use a little bit of inasu with it. Some of you are still too stiff, uh, and your hands are here. Whatever you've gained, you've given away. So, it's your fighting stance. 
Take it. It's up. Your head is a fifth of the body weight. So if you can get your head, their head to move very slightly, their body will follow it. Obviously this connected to this, connected to this, very close to the head. So one, two, three. Just a few, just to get the whole package. What I want to see as well is I want you to be thinking about your okuriyashi. I want you to be thinking about your your stealing distance. I want you to think about the timing. Yeah, not just the technique. This this lesson is not about the technique. About each in the, the oil committee number four. Yeah, kion number one. Yeah, gomiti gata. We, it's not talk, we're not talking about that. We're talking about realizing timing. And that's what's missing out of quite a few people that come up for gradings. Yeah, it's not just about gradings, it's about your own personal martial arts, whether it's karate, whether it's judo, iaido, whatever. Yeah, timing plays an importance on the attack, on the defense, before it happens afterwards it doesn't finish until you've actually mutually agreed that it's finished it should be that complete package and what's missing is timing it's this thing that should be cushioning or encompassing everything that you do yeah in your dojo if it feels a bit static something's quite wrong yeah, it must be timing, flowing, yeah? So try a couple each, about three or four each, yeah? One each, yeah, and then we'll crack on. Ready, Hey. Right. So we've used um, uh, some partner work to try and demonstrate some timing. The most, the, the, the next, um, part that you need to control is your kata. Those what are people here? Kushanku? Yeah? Started off really nice, then it gets shorter and shorter and, and then in the end, then in the end everything's lost. Because you're either too tensed, yeah, trying to do it too quick. Who hasn't, do, who hasn't, who has actually done that? I've done it lots of times. Start off doing a kata and it all condenses up till all of a sudden you, you can't, you can't move and it doesn't mean anything. So what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to pick a short kata. So I want you to pick maybe a pinan kata. It doesn't have to be the same one as everybody. I could say pinan idan, but pick whichever one. Don't, don't get doing kishanku. All right, uh, just keep to the pinan katas, that's fine. Okay, so we'll do it once and then we'll come back. Yeah? So I'll get an idea of what kata you're doing. <laughs> okay, so spread out, kata. So were you in control all the way through? Be honest. If you were, great. Actually, I can't comment on you guys, right? Actually, the person that finished last is Sensi Graham. Because he's confident with his timing, got experience, got years of knowledge. So this time, I want you to do it slowly. That doesn't mean weak. It means you take your time and let it flow, right? So. Do it slowly, do the kata slowly. Yeah, whatever kata you do, do it slowly. And find out where you are not confident or you're losing something or it's not quite right. Yeah, so fit together. Enure, Iyazme, 
to be honest, there wasn't much difference in my eyes. This time I want you to do your kata, and I want you to go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So I'll put three counts in between each move. Feel that you're in the right stance. Feel that you're in the right sign, mind, mindset. Yeah? Feel if you've gone and you'll start to lose in your balance. Because that's three seconds is the time for you to adjust. I don't want you to impress me, I want you to impress yourself. Your kata is yours. You've got to feel confident in it. So take your time to find it. The only way you're going to find it is take your time slowly and search. Slow search. If you're looking for something in the house that you've lost, usually it's a key or a phone with me. Yeah, can't find it, can't find it. But as you do it slowly, ah, oh, there it is. Yeah, so do your kata. Count three in between each move. Yeah? Find whether you're right. Find whether you're in the right direction, etc. Yeah? Hey. Hey, yoi. Kata. Hey, yummy. Hey, yes, mate. Did you find anything out? Did you experience anything? That's what you've got to ask yourself. Right, now this time, I want you to do the same kata, but I want you to do it. So there's no stops. No stops, but it's fluid. There's no tension. I don't, I'm not gonna be impressed by it. Yeah? I want you to do it fluid. If you can do it fluid, then you can do it hard. Yeah, but don't let it stop. That's the difficult part. Do it slow, but as soon as you feel yourself finished, be into the, be into the next move. Don't stop. Yep. Yeah. Hey. Hey, yoi. Hey, no, they. Yes, mate. So your last one, compared to your first one, you should have discovered something that possibly wasn't happening in the first one. Was I keeping my balance? Was I actually focusing on the right technique? So you've got to give yourself time to finish things off. It is no good going faster and faster and faster until you lose it. Yeah? You must respect your martial art, you must respect your wado, you must respect your, your style that you do and give it quality time. And that will come out when you do your kata. If I see somebody doing kata and there's no spirit behind it, then it's a dead kata. But if I see another kata that's like da -da 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 -da, trying to be fast, there's no techniques in there at all. After all, you are learning a martial art to learn a technique that you want until you're Sensi Lenny's age and more. Yeah, if you've got a technique and it works, then that should last you for years and years and years. If you've just got your pure strength, doing it faster and faster, then <laughs> you'll lose it. You'll lose it when you get older. I find it, I can't train as hard as I can. Techniques are better, but I can't train as hard as I used to. Yeah, so I want you to do your kata now 
And I want you to think about what you're doing. And I want you to give it time. And I want you to give it the credence that it should have, the respect that it should have. Yeah? These cutters have been around for years. So give them the respect. Give them your time. Give them your quality time. Yeah? So it should be different. All right? QK, right? Hey, yo. You've got to be in the zone. So which one were you happier with? Possibly the last one, I'd say. Possibly. All right, so my advice is when you're going for your grading or, or your own training, give yourself time to finish things off. Not cut anything short. Your stances will dictate the timing of that technique. Not you dictating it, but the stance that you've got to finish off. The, the technique that you've got to do. That will dictate the time. Not you trying to rush it. Do you understand that? Yeah? No? Okay, so you cut her last time. This is going to be the best cutter you have ever done. Not a second, second hand, you know, quality one. The one, the best one that you have ever done in your life so far. So give it respect, finish things off, finish your stances off, finish the technique off. Don't rush it. Your brain has got to control this. Not this, control your brain. This has got to control it. After all, that's what you do in a fight. This has got to control it. This has got to be your computer. Yeah? Okay, so, right, last kata. The best one. Hey, yoi. Kata. Kunash. Hey, yame. With your partner, you're going to discuss a piece of partner work, whether it's uh, an Ipan Kumite, a uh, Oya, oh, I don't mind, a uh, Kian, or a Gumite Gata. You're going to agree, or if you want to do two, one for each person, not a problem. But I want you to try and bring those attributes into it, if you can. Pick which ones you're going to focus on. Don't try and do all three. If you can pick one or another, just pick one of those. But, but try, and, try and integrate it with your, with your partner work. That means you've learned something today. Yeah? Get this, get this Kime before. While it's happening, Afterwards, keep everything there until you're finished. So it's a whole bundle. Yep. Okay. Hey. Carry on. Wish. Okay, so more or less finished the course today. All right. Try and think about it try and incorporate it into your techniques, especially your kata. Take time to show that you know exactly what you're doing, what stances you're in. I'm not losing my balance. Yeah, you obviously know the kata, but take time to fin finish things off. Yeah? Okay. Not rush it. When you're with a partner, try and build up this atmosphere. Try and think about disguising your attack in some way. Yeah, not just... You can see that now a mile off, can't you, coming? Yeah? 
so I try and disguise it, try and create or generate as much, as much speed as, uh, that you can control. When you st start an attack and finish an attack, things have got to happen before that end part. So it's, it's either in the middle or just almost at the end. Yeah, that first part is, is actually recognising that they're actually coming towards you. Then it's seeing what technique they're doing, whether it's punch or a kick. Then it's, is it Joe done or Chu done? Then you, then you are moving, then you are managing your movement to accommodate that. Don't go straight away, else you'll end up in a stance and, and doing an uki that's not relevant. You need to start reading the attack. And then move at the last split, split second. And either be try and be quick to finish it off, or generate some, some space, some speed, some, some, something to take them off balance. And don't expect them, apart from your, maybe your basic ipons, where you are learning how to move back, move in. Yeah, but maybe your kions and your, um, your gamiti gata. Try and box a little bit clever with it, not just, not just do the same thing time after time after time. Everything should be a little bit more, a little bit more each time. Yeah, so you're pecking away at it. Until your until your your wado, your judo, your your martial art is is refined, yeah. Not just accepting it, what it is, and and you don't do you don't. Uh, you want to come down today if you didn't think you was going to get something out of it. I still go on courses and I always come away. I'm sure you are, Graham. I'm sure you are, Cecily. You go on a course and you think. Why didn't I see that before? Why didn't I see that before? And you get quite angry with yourself. How many years have I been around? I've never seen that before. Yeah, all the time. And it's not what they it's the things that they're not showing you. Yeah, so if you do go on like a course with uh, Otsuka Sensei or, or even Arthur or Peter, or, you know, just, just look at what they're not doing. <laughs> or not telling you, not showing you. That's, that's, that's the places where I've found things. Yeah. Any questions? Okay, so I've, I'm hopefully I've made you think about something else within your within your wado, within your martial art. Yeah, but don't rush things. Be creative with time. Don't waste time. Okay, if you're not happy with what you're doing change it it's your life time's ticking away and we need to be down the pub <laughs> yeah of course but anyway uh, any questions thank you for all traveling i know a lot of you have come down from scotland Thank you for travelling. All right, thank you very much. Bye. Bye.